For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Bible Bell Outdoors is brought to you by Whitetail Institute Habit Outdoors Groove Life Silicone Rings Some Toy Custom Chokes Flying Arrow Archery Black Eagle Arrows Pure White Tail Swamp Boys Custom Calls Boy Dog Outfitters Welcome to Season 2. Whitetail Institute doesn't have to pay celebrity hunters to endorse our products. We let our customers do the talking because we feel what real hunters put in the bed of their pickup is much more impressive. In fact, some of our customers have broken state records and even a world record using our food plot products. Now, not all our customers are breaking records, but they are consistently harvesting the best deer in their area. So join the tens of thousands of real hunters that are experiencing their best hunting ever with products from the Whitetail Institute. The Broadhead Revolution is here. Introducing the revolutionary broadheads from Flying Arrow Archery. The Toxic Cyclone, the Tom Bomb, the Toxic and the Cyclone 100 grain have universal blades. This is a perfect combination between the revolutionary design of the Toxic and a traditional three blade broadhead. 
See them online at FlyingArrowArcheryUSA.com. The Scent Factor jacket from Habit Outdoors features Scent Factor scent inhibitor technology. It's waterproof, breathable, and windproof. Features a high standing hood with zipper guard, arm and hand pockets that are conveniently located, and an adjustable toggle waist and snap wrist cuffs. You can find it along with all of our other products at www.habitoutdoors.com. Hey neighbor, heard you took another big 10 point on your place. Yep, got him coming to Upper Food Plot. Dang, we both plant fields, but you've got the deer. What's your secret? I plant Whitetail Institute products. <laughs> Couldn't say.
I misjudged him a little bit. I think I shot pretty low. The hog is just right over his heel. Like, there was blood coming out of him everywhere. We're going to give him a little bit of time to calm down. Then we'll ease up here where I shot him at by my arrow. And he had blood coming out of both sides, but I hit him very, very, very low. So more than likely, he's still alive. I'm going to have to uh, be real slow, track him up, see if we can't get another shot on this pig. I think I hear another one up there walking around. I'm about to walk back up here and get my other camera. Then we'll ease up here and start tracking this pig up. everywhere this is where the pig was standing when I shot him so my arrow should be right in here but I don't see my arrow nowhere but lasers covered covered in blood there's blood way up into this brush top blood all over the ground good blood everywhere so if I didn't kill this pig, he should be easy to find. He didn't run off very fast. And uh, hopefully we can track him up. Maybe he's still alive, finish him off. I'm gonna dig around in these leaves right here and try to find my arrow. All right, I got up here. There's blood everywhere. Here's two little piglets right here, squeezed up against a tree. So that's probably a little sow pig right here with two babies. Killed several hogs right here. It's a big bluff right here. And hogs stay around it. I shot that pig right on that knoll. She came right up through here. I can't find my arrow. So I guess it's still in there, but there's blood everywhere. I'm gonna take my time and ease up and see if I can find it. trailing this pig for probably maybe a quarter of a mile maybe a half I don't really know a long ways anyway and she was bleeding like crazy I made a bad shot on her I hit her way too low and uh, the blood trails got real thin I actually saw the pig just a second ago up on this ridge I walked up here to where I saw her at she laid down, and uh, when she got back up, she wasn't bleeding that much. I don't think I made a, uh, a fatal shot on her, I don't think. I think she'll probably live. But I just heard another hog squeal right down the ridge, the way she's going. So I'm just going to slip down through here and just see if I can make eye contact with this pig again.
smoked in there. Perfect shot, perfect shot. Three pigs. I still hear him. That pig tried to charge. That was freaking awesome. He was making him a bed. He was making him a nest or a bed right here in this brush top. I double along that hog. There's no way. I heard it fall apart. I just heard it squeal. Perfect shot. I'll go down here and get my camera. My camera's still rolling down the hill. As soon as I got out here, right where I thought I should start seeing hogs, this pig was up there feeding. And uh, I slipped up there on her. And uh, I got up there, I thought she was 25 yards. She was real high up the hill. She was really 35 yards. Shot extremely low. I blood trailed her for probably a quarter of a mile, maybe a half. She was already done bleeding. She didn't have any blood coming out of her. I slipped up and I shot her at five yards. She charged me, turned broadside, and when she did, I put a perfect shot on her. Tenderloin right there, it's gonna be, be fine eating. We'll wrap it up. This boy's on his back. Deer aren't stupid. Why should you be? Groove life silicone rings. A ring that won't scratch your gun stock, make sound on your barrel, or rip your finger off. Click below to shop now at GrooveLife.com. Designed for well-drained soils, Alpharac Plus is a perennial food plot planting that offers your deer an unbeatable variety of highly attractive, high-protein forages. These include specially selected grazing alfalfas, Whitetail Institute perennial forage chicory, and the number one food plot planting in the world, Imperial Whitetail Clover. The grazing alfalfas in Alpharac Plus are true forage alfalfas that grow more leaf relative to stem than standard hay alfalfas and stay palatable to deer even as they mature. Whitetail Institute chicory also stays highly palatable to deer because it doesn't get leathery and waxy as it matures the way other chicories can. The alfalfas and chicory in Alpharac Plus tend to dominate areas of the plot that are better drained. The Imperial Whitetail Clover component enhances attraction even further and helps fill in areas of the plot that hold more moisture, making Alpharac Plus an ideal option even for sites with both moisture holding and well drained areas. The snap rolls out to the right looking for a receiver. He's being chased. He throws. It is intercepted. He's at the 30, 25. He's at the 20 yard line. Now he runs up the middle. He's at the 15. He's at the 10, the 5, the 3, the 1 yard line. But sneaks into the end zone for the touchdown.
that smack down on that hog. I sat there and watched him run off. He ran about 50 or 60 yards. I thought I heard him fall over there. I don't like shooting. I don't like shooting hogs in here because there is some pretty big deer in here. But the hogs been messing me up quite a bit here lately. And uh, that was a big hog right there. I've been seeing that hog two or three times since I've been in here hunting. And I've been wanting to kill him, get him out of here. I'm tired of seeing him. We're gonna sit here a little while longer. And uh, we'll get down in a little bit and go find him. I'll stay tuned maybe at the We've been looking for this hog and I just now found him. He's laying right here. Let's walk up here. See what my shot looked like. He didn't bleed much because he didn't have an exit hole. He come a monsoon just a few minutes ago. He's a huge hog. Looks like a perfect shot. Big boar. I'm going to get him set up so y'all can see him better. And we're going to take some pictures and get out of here. Alright, y'all have to bear with me. I got my camera sitting on a stump. I forgot the tripod down the other side of the hill, my backpack and stuff. This pig come through as y'all saw earlier this morning. And uh, I've been getting a lot of pictures of him on the game camera. I've been seeing him for probably three or four times this year while I've been out here bow hunting. And I haven't been shooting him because I had a good buck in here that was hunting. I didn't want to put any blood on the ground. Last Saturday morning, I found that buck dead about 200 yards from this spot right here. So this hog come up the ridge this morning and uh, gave me about a 10 yard shot broadside and got the camera on him. Put one right where it was supposed to be, put a perfect shot. Couldn't put no more prettier of a shot than where I hit this pig. But this pig right here is easily 200 pound pig, he's huge and uh, probably closer to three. He's a really, really big pig. Old, he's an old hog. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a few pictures of him and get out of here and go get somewhere to hunt this afternoon. Y'all stay tuned, maybe we'll kill something else this evening. Cause we're just some good old boys trying to get by with our rivals, mostly shotguns and four-wheel drive. Standing is where we stay. Got